Hey guys, welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine and another DIY. I've been enjoying making these, so um, let me know in the comments down below if you've been enjoying watching them. Um, but this one is going to be extra fun because it's in collaboration with my sweet friend Shanti from Shanti's Lifestyle. She is amazing. Um, she has a channel that is very similar to mine. She does the DIYs, clean with me, shop with me. Um, you'll love her how she's amazing at decorating, but I will let her introduce herself right now. Hi everyone, my name is Shanti from Shanti's Lifestyle. On my channel, I have a lot of different content from cleaning and organization videos, DIYs, some decorate with me's, basically anything that pertains to being a woman, wife, and mother. After you're done watching Casey's amazing DIY, I'd love it if you come over to my channel to check out my DIY and hopefully subscribe if you like what you see. If you do decide to stop by, please let me know in the comments. Hope to see you there. So after you're done watching my video, head on over to Shanti's channel and give her a big thumbs up and tell her I sent you. If you are here from Shanti's channel, I would like to say hi and welcome you to my YouTube family. I hope you like what you see and subscribe. So if you guys are ready, let's get into this. All right guys, so this is all you're going to need for this shiplap home sign. You're going to need um, these pieces of wood from Home Depot or Lowe's, wherever you get your wood from. Um, they were 96 cents a piece and they were six foot long. And you can get them cut at Home Depot. Then you're going to need a frame. I got this frame from Goodwill and originally I was going to pay, paint the frame, but you'll see that I did not. Um, a An outdoor rug from Dollar Tree. I picked up this welcome sign, but then fell in love with this home sign, and that's what we're going to use for the sign. So all I'm doing here is pulling out the staples in the back that hold the picture in, because sadly we are going to paint over the ducks. So I apologize if anybody likes the original picture, but I need it for the sign. They are cute little ducks or swans, but they're just not my style. So you just want to use the original um, piece that was in the frame for the size, and then you're just going to measure out. You can either do the, the um, shiplap all the way across, or I took a couple pieces and cut them smaller just so they could have like a staggered look but I didn't do them do that with all of them. And my handy husband was so sweet and cut these pieces for me. You can use a handsaw too, but this was just easier. And now I just took a little bit of chalk paint or you can use acrylic paint, it doesn't really matter, just to cover up the picture because some of the shiplap might not um, line up perfectly. There might be little gaps, so you just don't want the, the background picture to show through. Then you're gonna wanna line up the pieces that you cut just to make sure they are the same size um, because I had a little bit of trouble when I tried to put the frame over the board, it didn't quite fit, so I had to um, just adjust the sizes on a couple of them. And here's some more paint. We're just going to paint over the boards. And I kind of like, looking back, I kind of like the um, raw wood look so I might do another sign like this just for fun and leave the wood the the natural color because I don't know I kind of like it next you're just going to take the rug from the Dollar Tree 
and start cutting it out. And it's really simple because it's it's really flimsy, so um, it's not like you need super heavy duty scissors. I'm sure you could probably use an X-Acto knife on this too. And to get into the little, like where the windows are and in the E and the curly part of the H, I just folded the fabric and cut them kind of like they taught us when we were in elementary. <laughs> this part, you can use any color you want. I chose to go with um, a black acrylic paint and I didn't really have a perfect way to apply it. Um, I just took a paintbrush and I was swiping it like you would a regular paintbrush. Sometimes I was dabbing it, um, but I will warn you when you're dabbing, um, I had some spots where it was a little bit more of like the solid black than the rest of it because it got in between the lines because it is, you know, it is the floor mat, so it's got those lines in it. Um, and it might, might be easier to just spray paint it. So then the next step you're just going to want to glue down the pieces onto the backing of the frame. I used a little bit of wood glue and um, hot glue. The hot glue is more to hold it in place right then and then the wood glue you know, would dry and hold it in place. And make sure the edges of the wood line up almost perfectly, if not perfectly, with the edges of the frame insert just so that it's easier to put into the um, wood part of the frame. So I have a question for you. I never know on doing these DIYs, um, say for instance with these wood pieces, do you want me to, do you want to see me doing the whole thing, gluing every piece down? Or would you rather I just get to the point, show a couple of them, and then move on to the next step? Because I want it to be helpful and show you how I did it, but I don't want it to be annoying to where it's just like, okay, come on, come on, move along. Then you're just going to want to position the word um, how you want it onto the shiplap. Make sure it's exactly how you want it because you're going to just kind of mark some of the edges so that when you bring the, um, the word in after spraying it with the adhesive spray, I, you might be able to use hot glue on this, but we used adhesive spray anyway. And with that stuff, you spray it and you put it down almost immediately because you don't want it to dry. So that's why I'm marking all these spots so we can do it quickly. And my husband helped me on this one as well, just so that we could move faster.
This is the 3M adhesive spray that we used. And here it is all finished. So I got the idea for this sign from um, one I saw at Kirkland's. It wasn't done with a mat or anything, but um, I just thought this might be an easy way to make a shiplap sign. So let me know what you guys think. I haven't seen anything really done with the Dollar Tree mats before, the floor mats. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. And let me know in the comments down below if you're liking all these DIYs, um, if you like more of the cleaning videos, um, shop with me's, what would you like to see more on my channel? Um, like I said, I'm really enjoying these DIYs, but I also want to put up stuff that you guys enjoy watching. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to head on over to Shanti's channel and check out her DIY. Thanks so much for all your love and support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!